All right, welcome to section 2.6. In this uh, section, we're going to talk about family of functions. And so we're going to do transformations of functions. And transformation is kind of a big fancy word, but it just means to, to uh, change it, to move it, to move it up or down, to maybe make it uh, stretch up or something like that. Transform just means to change, right? And a function um, is just an equation with two variables. All right, so we're going to have these x, y equations, um, say something like that. That's a function, and then we're going to transform it somehow, right? Um, so in this lesson, we're going to talk about what's called actually like um, uh, this function notation, right? This g of x and f of x. So if you don't understand that, this first video here is just meant to review that concept, right? So you, it's not the main part of this lesson, but if you don't know what it means, I would watch on and Make sure you, you got function notation before watching the rest of 2.6. Okay, so again, review of function notation. Um, I have a little function here, and I have three questions. If you know the answer to these, um, just review them quick. You don't need to watch the end of the video. If you don't know, think about what you do know here, and then um, watch the rest of the video. Okay, so your answer. So typically, you have two variables, x and y. Right, this is probably what you're used to. So we'd say maybe y equals like 3 times x. We make a little xy table and say, you know, when x is 1, y is going to be 3. When x is, say, 5, y is going to be 15, something like that. All right, so what function notation does is instead of having x and y as your variables, you have x still, that's the same. So I'll write this over here. So let's do f of x equals 3x. Okay, and so it's the same function, just a different notation. And instead of x and y being your variables, your variables are x and f of x. All right, and so it's the same idea, right? We could have x1 and put it in and multiply by 3 and we get 3. If x was 10, put it in and multiply by 3, you get 30. So it's the same concept, except instead of x, y, you have x and f of x. Okay, and this f, the probably the most confusing part is normally a letter represents a variable, like an unknown number. Um, in function notation, that is actually the name of the function. So in the example above, the name of the function is f. Um, the two variables, uh, the x is usually the independent. So whatever is inside of this parentheses there, that's the independent variable. So I draw a little arrow there. Most of the time, it's going to be x. Independent, sorry, I'm struggling with the deal here. You know, let's type it out. So the independent variable is just x in this case, okay? And then the dependent variable, instead of being y, is that whole expression f of x. Okay, so function notation is just a different way to write a function. Instead of x and y, it's x and f of x. All right, um, watch the other video for the rest of 2.6.